Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Xbox app error code that is 0x8073CFB. So if you're receiving this error with Xbox app, then please follow the steps shown in this video. So before performing any troubleshooting steps, first of all, check for any outage on Xbox on Microsoft website. So in the so uh, you can just type in Xbox status uh, in Google search and then go to Xbox official website. Now on this website, you can check if all the services are up and running or not. So here you can see right now all services up are up and running. So you can scroll down under services, make sure that these all has a green tick. So if there is any outage, uh, if there is a limited outage, you will see this sign over here. If there is any major outage, you will see this sign over here. So if there is any kind of limited or major outage, that means there is some outage from Microsoft side and you have to wait till all the services are up and running. So the first step is to run gaming services repair tool. Now for this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Now on this website, you will see gaming services repair tool. So expand downloadable version and then click on download the gaming services repair tool for PC. Click on it and then run this exe file. Click on yes to allow. And let the repair complete. This repair will take some time. So let it complete. So once you see completed successfully, now you can check. Still not working. The next step is to repair or reset Xbox app. Now for this type in Xbox app in Windows search box and then make a right click on Xbox app and then click on app settings. Now on this screen, scroll down and then you will see the repair option. So hit repair. And after the repair, you can check still not working. Then you can perform reset. So click on reset, reset. And after the reset, you can check still not working. The next step is to uninstall and reinstall Xbox app. To uninstall, you can just type in Xbox app, make a right click on Xbox app and then click on uninstall, uninstall. Now, once the uninstall is complete, you can open Microsoft Store on your computer and then type in Xbox app. In the search box, you can type in Xbox and then you can install Xbox app from Microsoft Store. So click on install and let it complete. And then you can check still not working. Then you can update Xbox app from store library. Now for this, you can go to Microsoft Store. Here you can see bottom left download option. Go to downloads and then you will see get updates option. So you can click on get updates or you can click on update all. And once everything is up to date, once the Xbox app is up to date, now you can check. Next step is to uninstall Xbox app and install it from Xbox website. So you can type in Xbox app and then make a right click on Xbox app, click on uninstall, uninstall. Now, once the uninstall is complete, you can copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. So scroll down and you will see install option, uh, download the app option. Here you can see Xbox app for Windows PC. Click on download the app and then you can run this exe file. And then click on yes to allow. Accept install and let the installation complete. Once the installation is complete, you can open Xbox app and then check. Still not working. Next step is to make sure date, time, time zone and reason is correct in your computer. So open Windows settings and then go to uh, go to time, time and language. So once you go to time and language, go to date and time and make sure set time zone automatically is on. Also make sure set time automatically. This is also on both are on and then click on sync. Now sync now is important. If you see errors like this, click on sync now once again and once done again, go to time and language and then go to language and region and make sure your country is selected over here. Select the right country and then you can check. Next step is to run WS reset command. So type in WS reset in Windows search box and then click on WS reset. This will open Microsoft Store. 
and then you can check still not working next step is to update windows 10 or windows 11 so open windows settings go to windows update or update and security in windows 10 and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to install xbox identity provider and gaming services now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will again take you to microsoft website on this website you will see download option to install xbox identity provider click on open microsoft store and this will open microsoft store if not install you will see install button in my case it's grayed out it is already installed so if this is if you see installed like this that means it is already installed if not installed you will see the install button or get button and then install it and then run this two command so copy this command this will uninstall gaming services from your computer so type in powershell in windows search box and then make a right click on windows powershell and then click on run as administrator make sure that you open powershell as an administrator click on yes to allow paste the command over here hit the enter key now once this is done now run the second command this command is also provided in the video description so on the same window paste the second command hit the enter key this will open microsoft store on your computer you will see install button to install gaming services hit install and let the installation complete once the installation is complete now you can check still not working the next step is to start all these services so you can type in services in windows search box and then click on services and then find ip helper in the list so find ip helper in the list make a double click on ip helper set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok and then find xbox services at the end you will see all these xbox four xbox services make a double click on xbox services and then set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok again make a double click set it to automatic again click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok again make a double click over here set it to automatic apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok again make a double click over here set it to automatic and then hit apply click on start ok find windows update make a double click on windows update set it to automatic and then hit apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok now find gaming services in the list so we can see gaming services make sure gaming services are running if not running you can make a right click and then click on start or restart make a right click if you see start click on start or restart and now if it is already running you can stop it make a right click stop it and then you can restart make a right click and then you can click on start or restart and make sure it's already running now find microsoft store install service make a double click set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok and then you can open xbox app and then you can check next step is to run this powershell command this command is provided in the video description type in powershell in windows search box make a right click on windows powershell and again run as administrator you have to run this powershell as an administrator and then click on yes to allow paste the command hit the enter key this process will take some time and during this process you will see some errors in red color so if you see errors like this in red color let it complete you can ignore the error let it complete once this is done you will see everything in red now you can check next step is to run inet cpl.cpl command so type in inet cpl.cpl and then click on inet cpl.cpl and then go to the advanced tab scroll down make sure use tls 1.0 1.1 1.2 1.4 uh, sorry 1.3 make sure all four are checked and then hit apply click on ok and then you can check next step is to update windows use to the latest version using media creation tool so if nothing is working you can update your windows using media creation tool if you have windows 10 copy this link if you have windows 11 copy this link windows 10 users 
go to this website here you can see media creation tool click on download tool now and then run this exe file then you will see the screen click on accept by default upgrade this pc now would be selected click on next it will start downloading windows 10 along with the latest update now this process will take some time now once the download is complete before the installation you will see this screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so click on install and once the installation is complete log into your computer now for windows 11 users go to this website here also you will find media creation tool click on download now and then run this exe file click on yes to allow now this will load windows 11 media creation tool now click on accept by default windows 11 would be selected click on next select iso file then click on next you can save the location you can set the location as desktop and then click on save over here now once the download is complete click on finish and then go to desktop find windows iso file make a double click on windows iso file then run the setup file make a double click on setup file click on yes to allow this will load windows 11 now and here you can see install windows 11 click on next it will check for update then click on accept again it will check for update now before the installation you will see the screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer click on install after the installation log into your computer so one of the steps shown in this video will help you to open xbox app successfully so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel